Hi, welcome to Nikki's vlog and an unusual vlog because I am inappropriately addressed so we never confuse this one with the real video but this is a draft of a video we're about to record in three or four weeks after we've had some feedback off the channel um, about our company mission statement. So our company M62 Vincis is called Vincis because the word Vincis means you win and it is our name and our brand promise. We will help people win in the marketplace. Actually, specifically, we help people go from winning one in three of their deals to winning three out of four of their deals. That's a doubling or a trebling of their win rates. That's what we do, but that's not why we do it. Our mission statement is something different. And to start the story of how we've spent 21 years developing it, we have to go back 25 years, 24 years, to when I was 26 and living in Singapore. And one of my mentors was an amazing gentleman called Glenn J. Singer Knight. Glenn had a profound effect on me, lots of words of wisdom in my early years as I was forming my philosophy for how to approach business and life. And one of the things that Glenn said to me all those years ago that really stuck in my mind was this. They can take everything from you except your integrity. Only you can throw that away. That's a really interesting statement, and it's one that has informed my attitude towards business for the last 30 years. I want to be successful, but I want to do it with integrity. I am not prepared to lie. I am not prepared to steal. I am not prepared to cheat. I am not prepared to compromise my integrity in order to be successful. I don't need to be that successful enough. Now, over the last 20 years, that has caused me considerable problems, at least in part because the people around me never really understood it. And so I've had people who have questioned my decisions because they haven't understood that I've been wrestling with, is that the right decision from my integrity point of view? We fired clients, clients that were huge clients spending a lot of money with us because culturally they just didn't fit. One in particular because they, one of their middle-aged men was shouting at one of my young females and the whole interaction was just wrong. And so despite the fact it was our largest client at the time, I fired them and vowed we would never to deal with them again. I fired staff for making racist comments. I fired staff for making sexist comments. I have tried to live our values in the business for the last 21 years. Now, when we started in 1997, we were a very different organisation. Our branding was very different. It was a very small family team, and I was a very young male. We've kind of grown up a lot in the last 20 years. The branding has improved, and clearly there's been a few minor changes to me. I've aged a little bit and kind of look a little bit better than I did 26 years ago, I think, but whatever. The business is slightly different. What isn't different, though, is we are still trying to grow and develop an ethical business. And we are still daily pulling the tension between how successful do we really want to be versus being successful and being ethical and maintaining our integrity. And so because of that and because of this, the last 21 years has sort of led us to a point where we really understand that what's more important to us, more important than winning, is diversity and inclusion, is making us an ethical business. And so our mission statement now is about making DNI win. And specifically what that means is we look for organisations that have the right diversity and inclusion attitude. They have the right policies, they have the right commitment, they know what they're doing when it comes to gender diversity, racial diversity, ethnic diversity, disability diversity, in all its different forms, having an organisation that is committed to diversity and inclusion and making people feel part of their organisation, those are the organisations that we wish to help win in the marketplace. Because by doing that, we're able to make more of an impact on the world than we can as a small UK-based consultancy.
So not only are we the smallest global business you're ever going to come across, but we hope to be the smallest with the biggest impact on DNI that you ever meet because we're helping other big organizations that are DNI champions win in the marketplace. Clients like Sodexo, IBM, all these people are utterly com- committed to their diversity and inclusion policies and we see it when we engage with them and so we get behind them and make them more successful than their competitors in the marketplace. We want to make DNI win. And this video is really a plea out to all of you that are concerned about the way our world is developing. If you want to help make the business world more inclusive, then maybe come and join us. Maybe be a partner, be an associate, come and work with us, or maybe refer us, or maybe just be a customer. We don't mind. If you're committed to diversity and inclusion, we'd like to help you be successful in any way we can. That's our mission statement, to make DNI win, because it will make the world a better place. I'd really like to know what my friends on Facebook and what my YouTube followers think of that spiel. It needs refining and honing up, but I'd like to take some feedback, constructive or otherwise, before I actually put on a nice little black dress and not do it in my gym stuff and do it for our website so that people really understand what we're trying to build at Vinces. Really appreciate the comments. Down in the comments below the video, or as ever, Google the corporate drag queen. I'm it. Bye.